In this video we're going to learn some Python techniques for cleaning up text and cleaning up contractions in text. Now when you're performing data analysis or data science with textual data, one of the most important tasks you have to do is clean that text and normalize it. Now throughout the world there's all sorts of different languages, different slang words, different grammar rules and if you're working with text you often need to take these into account when you're writing your applications or your machine learning models. So what we're going to do here is we're going to demonstrate contractions, a Python library that will help you clean this text and it will help you normalize for example turning words like I'll into I will and that's an example of fixing a contraction now a contraction as it says here it's words or combinations of words that are shortened by dropping letters and replacing them with an apostrophe this contractions library allows you to fix these and it also allows you to normalize text for example getting rid of things like abbreviations and also slang words as well so we're going to see how to do that in this video first of all I've got a Colab notebook here you can use any environment you want you can install contractions the Python library with this pip install command and this library will let you work with these contractions it will let you clean up text it's a very small package it provides simple functionality but it does the job in a lot of cases and you can see it fixes up these contractions such as the word your and resolves that to you are but it can do actually quite a bit more than that and we're going to see a few examples in this video so once you've run the install command what we're going to do is set up a code block below and we're going to import this contractions library and we're now going to see an example of how you can use this to clean up text. So I'm going to put a fake message in this cell. Message 1 here and it says, hey, how are you? You've been all right. Now obviously spelling and things like that have gone out the window with this message. But we can fix that with contractions. So what I'm going to do is use a function. And this is the main function in the library. It's called contractions.fix. And we pass to that the message. And you can see that when we run that, we've fixed some of the problems in the text. For example, the text of you, just the letter you, has been replaced by the word you. And that's probably what you want in an application. You don't want just the letter U, you want the proper word that it represents. And you can achieve that with this contractions library. Now, you notice the letter R here. Now that should be the word R. What we can do is we can actually add our own fixes to the contractions library. So there's a function called contractions.add. And the first argument to that is whatever the slang or the contraction is. In this case, it's the letter R and we want to replace that with the actual word R. So if we then add that and run this, instead of the abbreviation abbreviated forms of the words, we're getting the proper words in the sentence. Now let's imagine a reply to that message. We're going to set up message 2 here. And someone said, I'm good thanks, how are you? Are you still playing guitar? Now you can see there's all sorts of mistakes in this sentence. We've got this abbreviation of thanks. We've got this contraction here as well as this one here as well for I'm. We've got the abbreviated form of you and we've also got the contraction for your. And finally in this sentence we've got the G being dropped off of this word here. So what we can do is we can pass message to to this fix function and that will then fix the sentence up based on the rules it knows about so we get this back in proper English here the contractions have been removed and replaced by individual words and that often is what you want in your applications now it hasn't fixed this abbreviated form of playing but you could of course add a contraction rule to actually fix that word we'll just leave it as it is but the rest of the sentence is fixed and just to demonstrate a few extra features of this library. I'm going to set up a message 3 and it says I've not played since Feb. By the way, are you going to my birthday party tomorrow? Now I hope nobody who's watching this video is texting like that. All sorts of abbreviated nonsense in that message but if we pass it to contractions.fix if we run that you see that it actually does a good job of fixing that. So for example BTW has been replaced by the proper words by the way. The abbreviated month has been replaced by the proper name of the month. And things like B-Day have been replaced by birthday. So contractions can actually fix all of that. So this is a very useful library if you're working with text that's coming from user interactions where there might be a lot of slang, a lot of abbreviations in that text. Now the final thing for this video, let's see how it can be used to clean up regional slang. Now I'm from Scotland. We have a very distinctive dialect in this country and a lot of slang and often people do communicate by text using that slang. So what I'm going to show you here is an example of how we can fix that with contractions. So below this cell let's set up message 4 here and the text here says I'd never seen them afore. Now I'm getting this from this text here. It's a Scottish corpus of text and speech and I've just copied that first sentence. Let's see how we could fix that. Now if we just naively call contractions.fix and pass message 4 to this 
we're going to get nothing changed here because it doesn't know the rules associated with this regional slang. So we need to add these rules and we can use the contractions.add function to do that. So for example, the contraction for this word add, that translates to I had in the so-called Queen's English. So once we've added that contraction, we can rerun this and you can see it's fixed that up and it now says I had never seen them. But we also have this word here at the end, so I'm going to copy that and we can add a new rule here. And this word afore is Scottish slang for before. So when we add that rule and re-execute the cell, we now have the proper text. So we can use this contractions package in Python to clean up these regional dialects, clean up some slang in the text and also get rid of contractions and abbreviations. And if you're working with a lot of text, that can be a useful thing to do. So that's all for this video. It's been a short video. We're just demonstrating very quickly some text cleaning techniques in Python and how you can use the contractions library and your text processing workflows to help you clean up that text and get it into a proper form that you can then analyze later on. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.